Welcome to the HRP Statistics Portal video series, where we will be discussing statistical considerations for planning a public health research study. In this series, we will be focusing on key elements of a research protocol. A good protocol entails a clear research question, testable hypotheses, specific objectives, and outcomes aligned with the research question. Furthermore, it contains an adequate study design, sample size considerations, and rigorous statistical methodologies. In this video, we will focus on some key considerations when it comes to the formulation of research questions. Formulating a research question requires identifying a specific health issue, population, and outcome of interest. The research question should be clear, concise, and address a gap in knowledge. A well-formulated research question guides the research study's focus, informs the development of hypotheses and specific objectives to systematically investigate and address public health concerns. The question should be hypothesis-driven rather than data-driven. The finer criteria is an example of a research framework that you can use to ensure that your research question is well-formulated. The finer criteria requires that research questions be feasible, interesting, novel, ethical, and relevant. Questions should be practical, intellectually stimulating, address a gap in knowledge, adhere to ethical principles, follow the adequate research guidelines, and have significance within the field of study. The PICOS framework approach, that is, population, intervention, comparator, outcomes, timing, and setting, helps generate a research question that takes into consideration the key parts that the study will be designed to address. We use one of the HRP research studies to illustrate the different elements of PICOS. The Kesho Bora study, or A Better Future in Swahili, was an HRP-coordinated multi-country study during 2005-2010 in three countries, Burkina Faso, Kenya, and South Africa. One of the Kesho Bora study research questions was, how do the rates of HIV-1 transmission compare among pregnant women with an intermediate-stage HIV attending antenatal care clinics, between those receiving short-course ARV prophylaxis stopping at delivery and those receiving a triple ARV prophylaxis regimen continued during the breastfeeding period? Using PICO's framework, Population, pregnant women with intermediate-stage HIV Intervention, triple ARV prophylaxis Comparator, short-course ARV prophylaxis. Outcomes, HIV-1 transmission. Timing, during pregnancy to end of breastfeeding. Setting, antenatal care clinic. This concludes our short talk on research question formulation and key considerations. Stay tuned for the next topics in the series on statistical considerations for protocol development. For more, please visit the HRP statistics portal and request access. The link is provided in the video description.